Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. I have a special guest with me today, my daughter-in-law, Carrie. And she is going to show us how she makes her oatmeal cake. She makes it every year for the holidays. She makes it for Pop's birthday. Actually, she makes it anytime Pop says, I want an oatmeal cake. So she's our oatmeal cake baker. And she is going to share her recipe with us today. I'm excited for this. Are you? Yeah, you talked me into it finally. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she has always done stuff for me behind the scenes. And uh, so we finally got her on camera. So I'm enjoying having her here with me, but I always enjoy being with her anyway. So you ready to show us how you make your cake? Let's go. First thing in a large bowl, we need a cup of just oatmeal, just Quick just, oatmeal. Just regular oatmeal. And, whoops, does not have to be perfect, but close enough. Okay. And to that, who is our water boiled? Yes, I okay. got it on the boil. I knew we had it. We're going to add an entire stick of butter, and it's already starting to get soft, so that helps. Oh. Come on. <laughs> A stick of butter, you've got my heart right there. Yeah, there's another one coming up, so just wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know how much I love for my butter. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, I need the water. So. Okay. So how much water do we have here? It is one and a quarter cup, and you just pour it over on top of everything. I try to get make sure I get the oatmeal wet. And you're basically going to steam this for 20 minutes. It's going to melt all of the butter. Okay. And basically cook the oatmeal. Okay. So we cover. Set it aside. And we set a 20-minute timer. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and mix up the I'm dry. Gonna, I'm going to set your timer while you're doing that. Okay. Go ahead and mix up the dry ingredients. And I have my very loved recipe over here <laughs> um so mix up our dry ingredients in a separate bowl we are going to need our um flowers and cinnamons and stuff like that so not quite as large of a bowl i need one and a half cups of flour okay so you're basically doing this in like a medium-sized bowl and I've got a little scooper down in there. Yeah, I'm on. That's a half a cup, so I'm gonna need three of these. I can count. It, she's a teacher. She, I hope she knows how to count. <laughs> she teaches sixth grade. Sixth grade. I've got reading this year, but uh, sixth grade reading. You do arts and language. Am I right? I've done language arts. I cannot get this one to cut. With my little scoops in there. Um, I did language arts past or a few years ago when I moved to the middle school um, okay. after transferring from an elementary land. So well, she did 20 some odd years, right? Yes. All right, my need. <laughs> then we take a teaspoon of cinnamon and I have a half teaspoon here, so I'm going to go twice with it. I'm just sitting here watching her talking to her. She hadn't made this recipe since I came into the family, or oh. came around the family. And I need a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Love the smell of nutmeg. I love nutmeg, too. You know, cinnamon and nutmeg are just those warm fall holiday I need spices. a full teaspoon of baking soda. She keeps all her stuff in these little jars that kind of blows my mind because I don't know what's in them, but you know. <laughs> I just, I, I put my soda in the jar because it keeps it sealed up and it doesn't get clumpy on me. Mine's in an <laughs> old, long time ago, they sold it in an actual um, container that had a lid. Really? And I still, I just kind of wash that out when I get to a new one and I still have it. There you go. That is one thing I actually got back from Stephanie when she borrowed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was a t half a teaspoon of sugar. Salt. And 
Yes, salt. Thank you. Great. So, and then you just kind of, you're supposed to sift it. This is easier for me. And then I can take the little measuring spoon and push some of the clumpies out. Yeah, that way that does catch all the little lumps and Yes, and we clumps. use kosher salt, so um, I am going to dump them because it is kosher salt. It's not going to go through there. It won't go through it, no. But, so we're going to get this mixed up, sit it aside, and when our timer goes off for 20 minutes, we're going to add our sugars to our oatmeal mixture. All right, so we'll see you back here in a minute, okay? Sounds good. We're back. Our timer went off. Her oatmeal is ready. So she's going to do her next step. So I take my cutting board. I give it a wipe from all the steam and just kind of set it aside. So you're going to use that again. I'm going to use it again to chop the pecans in a few minutes. All right. So I've already got the two eggs cracked. Just flop them in there. And mixy, mixy. This is just a simple cake. I like this because you don't have to drag out the mixer. Oh, yeah. No hand mixer, no stand mixer. Just two bowls and a spatula. Pretty much. Now, what we're going to add to this is our flour, cinnamon, nutmeg contraption that we mixed up before we left you guys. So after this is mixed in, we're going to take this other bowl, Shorty can't reach. And you just dump it all at once? I kind of slowly dump, but yes, pretty much all oh, at okay. once. Okay, so I see what you're doing. I kind of try to get it incorporated. You don't have to slowly, just kind of a preference. Okay. And I'm going to set that aside because we'll use it again for the icing. This smells like the holidays already, y'all. All right, so we've got this all good and stirred, and we're going to add our sugars. There's a good bit of sugar, but that's okay. So it takes a cup of each of brown and white sugar. So Okay, well, you got two different flavor yes. going on there, and that brown sugar is going to give it that caramely... Um, and I've used both light and dark, just whatever I tend to have at the house. It doesn't really matter then. No. I, um, because sometimes I have one and not the other. I usually have both, you know. Yeah. You know, it really, it sounds like a lot of sugar, but for a cake, it's not. It's not. And, yeah, you know, she makes this cake all the time for us, and it is not overly sweet. It reminds me, because everybody, you, you first made it oatmeal cake, but it reminds me of a spice cake. So, then you get this little ooey-gooey consistency. And the way Ma always prepared it was in a 9 by 13 I don't like to do it that way. Um, so I always do two of the square aluminum pans. It's, I don't know why, I just prefer it this way. I have always and I think, it this way. Yeah, and I think a good idea for that too is you can cover it up and it freezes well. It really freezes well, and that way you can freeze one of them if you don't need them both. When we're together, all of us with the group, we probably need them both. But um, like I said, sometimes she'll make pop one just because he says, I want one, and we freeze one, he eats one. So then as close as you can, you just, after you spray it with your baker's, spray mix. You just try to get it even. So now how long do we bake this for and at what temperature? It is 
350, I think. I'll have to double check that. I know we've already set the oven. The I know that the original recipe said 55 minutes. And I always take it with this one since it's in smaller pans. I start checking about 45 until it's just like toothpick clean. Because that's really what you're just looking for is toothpick clean. Um, and I'm in your oven today, so I'm not 100% sure. But like I said, the recipe says 40, or 55. I start at 45 with this, make sure a toothpick will come out of it clean, and we're good to go. So if we're doing it in the 9 by 13, would the time change? It should be 55 for the 9 by 13. 55, okay. Um, that's what Ma always said it as. That was her timing on hers. And like I said, I, I don't even know what made me start cooking it in the smaller ones. Yeah. When she refers to Ma, she's talking about Paul's mother. Oh, uh, yeah. That's their, <laughs> their grandmother. So, um, okay, well, she told me to set the oven, and I didn't, so I just now did. So, so we're going to wait for it to preheat, then we're going to get this in to bake. Sounds good. I just heard our beeper go off. Yes, the cakes are done. We need to get them out and start on the icing. So you want me to grab the cakes? Grab the cakes, and I will nuke this for just a couple of seconds. All right. Ooh, Carrie. Yow. Look at that. If you could smell this cake. Can you smell it? Ooh. Let me set it right here and you can look at it. Got the butter melted and I need to chop. It calls for half a cup. I usually go over. But I never measure nuts. Yeah, I just kind of guesstimate. It's like vanilla. I just splash. But that looks like a good half a cup to me. At least. Now, how fine do you chop your nuts up? You chop them. Um, not dust, but you want them. I want them where fine. they're, at, and some of them get a lot finer. I just kind of want small little pieces so that, you know, usually about like that's the smallest. If we can get that one on camera. Yeah. Whoop. But not real fine. Okay. Some dust gets in there, but. All right, so the other thing. Evaporated milk. It says a quarter to half a cup. I always just buy the small jar and just dump the whole thing. And it's like, what, a five ounce? I think it's a five can. ounce. So, um, but it works out beautifully with the, the with that small can. Yes. I'm saying there's ounces on this one. So we're going to just go from here. I haven't used one of these in a long time. Let's scoot you back this way so they okay. can see what we're doing. There you go. So, uh, whoop, spillage. It'll wipe up. It will. You know, if you don't spill a little bit or get flour in places, you're not really cooking, are you? We also need, we put the sugar up, didn't we, Karen? We did. What do you need? I need white sugar. While she's getting that, I will get my cup of coconut. And this is not toasted yet. Yes, it's just sweetened coconut in the bag. Um, store brand. Works great. I do at least somewhat measure this. I don't necessarily. And these are just bags I had pieces of. Now, I keep my coconut in the freezer. I do, too, once I open it. <clears throat> yeah, and even when I buy it, unless I'm using it right then, I put it in the freezer because it lasts me longer. I keep my pecans in the freezer, too. I do, too, because nuts will go rancid quick. It's the oils in them. So anytime I buy nuts or coconut, I keep it in, do that. in the freezer until I'm ready to use it. And nuts you can use in the frozen state. Yeah, well these... So, and the coconut as well. These both just came out of the freezer a little bit ago, so... Yeah, so... Um, so I've got my butter. I'm going to throw my pecans in. 
See if I can do it without dropping them everywhere. Okay. So some more sugar. But again, yeah, this is not an overly sweet cake. No, definitely not. It, and if you're thinking that's a lot of sugar, it sounds like it, but it's really not an overly sweet cake. That was just a half a cup there. Yeah. So then you have this icing. And like I said, the evaporated milk, you can go a little bit less milk. I like it a little bit more wet. Kind of adds to the juiciness of the cakes. It's hard to see right there. We will get our cakes down where I can actually reach them. Oh, thank you. That was hidden from me. I do need a splash of vanilla. It was hidden. <laughs> it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. Y'all know we don't measure. I was about to say, I just usually splash the vanilla. She cooks like I do. We just splash. The cakes are warm. You know, I just took them out of the oven. That's why I was being careful grabbing at them. And again, just kind of half it out. I kind of plop some in the middle of this one and go back and plop. That's very technical plop. Hey, it works. So, <laughs> okay, so what do I need the oven on we for this? A broil. A broil. Now, I usually just low broil and we have to watch it because it will burn quickly, but that's what it's looking like. Okay. And that's a little hot under my hands. Okay. At least get it over here on the stove top. Yeah, you grab that one and I'll grab this one. And we will, we're going to put this under the broiler. Like she said, watch it really close. Get it just toasty brown. Yeah, just toast. You don't want it, to, it'll burn quick. So you have just, just enough where it's starting to get like a light, yeah. light brown on it. So Yeah, so once that happens, Dalton to be in here. We're going to take them out of the oven and we're going to try a piece. Look who came in and joined us. I told you he was on his way. And his mom is so happy to see him. Graham says too. Yeah. See how, how about some home? oatmeal cake? Let's get in. Mama made oatmeal cake for us today. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to try it. I'm excited. Yes. So, look, can we hold one up? Say, you think we... it's, we got it browned. You think it's cooled enough for us to hold it up? Uh, Probably. I'm just going to kind of borrow this to slide under it just in case. Okay. Can you see that? How beautiful that cake is. Nothing on it. Nothing wrong with hurting that oh, pretty placemate. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so. All right. Let's try a piece. Too bad we don't have any coffee made, Dalton. I know it. <laughs> Oh goodness. Yeah. You know, You're welcome. Yeah. You know, look at that. Hmm. Well, sure. Can you see sure how moist that is on the inside? Look at that cake. You want to share? That's good. The little crusties on the edge. Yeah, that's the edges are the best, aren't <laughs> they? I love that's corners. I want to share with Dalton. <laughs> oh, he's got the eye roll, Mama. Mmm. You did good, kid. Mmm. <laughs> Her first time with me, and this is a ballpark home run. Oh, that's good. Harry, I think this is one of the best ones you ever made. I'll say it's pretty good, I. Mm -hmm. haven't, well, maybe because we've eaten it warm. We usually don't eat it warm. Maybe so. But, um, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They're always delicious. But don't you think this one's the best so far? Pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How he does her. I'm surprised he gave me that much credit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shuffling it up. But we're so glad to have him home. And uh, Thanksgiving is a special time. Yeah, for a full week. Home where the food is. Thanksgiving is a special time for the family to be together, and we're going to all be together. Well, except for Brandon and Stephanie, they'll be away. But the rest of us will be here. 
But we appreciate each and every one of you. And we appreciate you joining us in our kitchen today. And we hope you'll try this oatmeal cake that Carrie made for us today. We'll have the recipe in the description box. It is amazingly delicious. So we're going to cheer her on, get her to come back and do some more it's with us. It's actually very easy to make. It is. There wasn't much to it. Yeah. There wasn't much to it. And it takes us a little bit longer when we're videoing. But to actually just start to finish, you can have the cake put together in no time. Yeah. But um, we'll get Dalton back with us, too. And uh, so happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you'll know when we put out another video. Mm -hmm. You can go try it, finish our cake. Let's finish this cake. All right. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. Bye.